Well, hello everyone, welcome to Pedro Plays. Today I'm going to be looking at the new game which is in early access called Sim Airport. Uh, so let's dive right in. So if you've not seen Sim Airport, it is on, currently on the Steam Store um, in early access and I've been playing it uh, probably for the last uh, sort of four or five days really. Uh, I did try and do a video um, when it first came out but I've got to be honest it had so many bugs in it um, that it was becoming quite difficult to record and um, yeah it, it wasn't going to make for a good video basically so I scrapped that idea. Now I've been playing um, around with it for the last few days I've sort of sussed out some of the bugs um, some other of the bugs have been uh, fixed by the um, developers they've been uh, really on it actually the last few days to try and get all of the uh, sort of early bugs that people were reporting uh, obviously so, sort of fixed um, and I have to say you know it, it is largely playable and, and definitely shows uh, a lot of potential um, so we're going to jump on and uh, we're just going to start a new game that now first of all now I'm gonna just go career mode I'm gonna go pick large for the map size and this feature here start from scratch um, one of the things I love about this is it says um, where is it you begin uh, oh no I think they might have got it oh no <laughs> we don't recommend using this option due to bugs or crashes that may prevent you from playing further but you may choose to if you really want to well we really want to now I've got to be honest I've played this um, already and actually it was pretty good so you do start off um, they have changed it if you do start from scratch you start off with a million pounds in the bank which sounds a lot but believe me you can spend that really really quickly now the first thing that I want to do is uh, I want to build um, some fences which is going to be our parameter fence um, now I don't want to make this too big to be honest actually before we build fences you know what every good airport needs now not every airport but every good airport uh, needs one of these it needs a runway so I'm going to build the runway and uh, let's have a look I'm going to try and build it say around about here so we don't have to spend too much money um, in taxiways and fences at this early stage of the game so let's build our parameter fence here then uh, so this is what's going to make it a sort of nice and secure area that's going to allow us to build our terminal building there we go and I'm not going to go I'm just going to keep it at that for now because we're going to build our building then I'm going to connect the fences to the side of the building um, first thing we need to do now this is similar in some ways to prison type uh, sorry prison architect if you ever played that um, in the way that you know very much the graphic sort of style um, and also the way that you would lay foundations to buildings before you would lay you know walls and, uh, and whatnot so obviously let's go in now this is where you start to spend some serious money I mean look at that best part of our budget is going to be gone just on creating a terminal building here so I'm going to probably look to so I'm just trying to visualize it I'm going to go to about that there we go I'll make that build too wide never mind it's gone now it's happened <laughs> so this is going to be uh, our foundation now I'm going to fast forward it a little bit and our little workmen are going to come and do their job anytime now first of all look, they need to get all the items delivered here so that's the other thing I'm going to change I'm going to get rid of these areas here because they for some reason they put it right at the bottom of the map but obviously you don't build down there you build up here so let's get our deliveries in first of all we're going to put these at the top here so they come nice and quick as we're starting this nice big delivery area and garbage put down here like so it's going to be our garbage area and then drop offs going to be here and pickups going to be down here excellent so I'm going to so it's sort of sped, sped up a little bit and um, yeah we're going to skip ahead uh, we're going to let our builders go ahead and build all of these so we've got a few deliveries that need to come in first of all they're delivering the materials ah I'll tell you what else we need to do we started from scratch we need to hire a few workmen but that would be why it's taken a little while 
Okay, so our builders have now finished building our main terminal building, uh, and this is going to be it just here. Um, they're currently going around and they're sort of building the runway and these um, perimeter fences at the moment. Um, so I'm going to start on um, sort of setting out and you know setting a bit of a layout here for um, for my terminal building just to see you know what it's going to look like and how we can make this um, how we can make this efficient. So I'm going to try something I've not tried so far, um, and I actually want to have two separate areas where guests can um, check in um, and also try and have a little bit of a funnel system here um, as to where they can kind of then leave the building almost like an exit for um, you know those guests that are arriving so let's have a look I think there needs to be our exit maybe we can have a double exit there let's just give it some exit um, so let's put a couple of walls in here. Let's go on there. Let's go on there. Close those off a little bit. So this is going to be our baggage claim area here as well. So the idea is, is that. Um, when our guests arrive or our, our passengers arrive they come in there's going to be a couple of check-in desks in this area a couple of check-in desks in this area um, and then this sort of area here probably from here and here is going to be security areas and then our little lounge and we're going to have obviously our gate over this side um, that's the idea in theory is it going to work i don't know we're going to find that out now um, but that's that's the idea so this is um what we're going to aim to build now we obviously got our terminal building here. They've done a fantastic job. They've then, you know, they've gone and built these walls here. Um, so next thing that we really need to build actually is outside of the the airport, which is a gate. So we we'll get them started on them um, on building that. Um, and the gate's going to be. Oh, hang on a minute. Why does that not let me snap there? Hmm. Okay. Can we build it at the end? Okay. So we can build it there. We can build it here. I'm going to have to build it here and I might have to extend the building out a little bit to it. There we go. So it's going to be our gate. Our building shape is going to change a little bit, but that's fine. We can work with that. So, see, so I need the foundation really to be extended out to here. Thank goodness we started with a million pounds. Eh? Um, there we go. So they're going to build the gate. They're going to extend the foundation of the building. And it's going to give us a little bit of extra space. Maybe the extra space is not such a bad thing. Uh, we can certainly sort of utilise that. Um, one of the things that we do also need to do is we need to build a taxiway um, just to align our runway um, to the, the gate. And they're quite expensive. £16,000 per square. Um, so it does... Yeah, cost a little bit to get that laid down. Uh, here we go. So our terminal's starting to take shape. We need to put a door in here so people can actually access the gate when they come. Here we go, it doesn't match up perfectly, but that's fine. So that's that. Now let's zone off a few areas here. So we want this whole area to be our baggage claim. And then we're going to have ticketing areas. So we're going to have one ticketing area here to say about here and then we're also going to have one ticketing area here there we go and then we're going to have a couple of areas of security like so and then this bit in the middle is going to be what we're going to going to have basically to build all like our benches and stuff where people are going to just chill and, and relax um, so what we might need to do is just extend these walls a little bit just to block it off a little bit to, to sort of funnel them a, a, I guess into um, into the main departure area and there's a very good reason why I'm trying to funnel it a little bit um, that's because I want to put some gates in there to separate the secure area which is this bit in the middle um, with the unsecure areas which are here um, which are these gates here now if I can get these the right way around can't really see unfortunately they look exactly the same both ways so 
let's just put those in for now and hope that they are the right way. There we go. So we've got gates in there. Now these are check in desks. Now I'm not going to go too crazy with them at the moment because we don't have a huge amount of money. So a couple of check in desks there. Yeah, there's a two on each side. Start us off with, and then uh, security wise, so we want some metal detectors. Now, before we want metal detectors, you want an ID ID stand. So, this is going to be the first part. So, I'm going to have them coming around here, like so. And then one, one on each side to start us off with. And then again, I think I'm going to build some internal walls just to try and help funnel people in. Make it all a bit neater. Okay, so they get their ID check there. They then come on to this bit here, which is going to be our metal detectors. We're going to have a couple of those either side. And then they're going to come on to the bag check. Uh, since I find it. There we go, bag checker. Bag scanner, sorry, oh, wrong button. There we go, and they're going to have a couple of those. Okay, so this side they're going to come here, get their ID checked, go down either one of these two lanes, and then come out here and then into the main departure area. And this side here is going to be something very similar. Again, we're going to have two metal detectors, uh, spin these around a little bit. Two metal detectors, and then we're going to have the baggage areas here. Scan the bags. And then out they go. Excellent, it's coming together now. Coming together. I need to unzone this bit here. So it's freaking out, thinking it's supposed to be a security area, but it's just not. Um, and same up here. Excellent. Baggage claim. Uh, we're not going to have baggage carousels at the moment. Um, we will get to that very soon. Um, I just want to tidy this bit up first of all. Let's put some benches in here. Uh, we also need to put a toilet as well, otherwise they're going to be going absolutely crazy. Um, from experience, I don't think the toilet needs to be massively big, so I'm just going to keep it that sort of size. And I'm going to put a door on there, because that would be good. Oh look, just put a door out there, cancel that. There we go, there's our door. A few sinks, put sinks across this back wall here. Just put those in here. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not use these toilets. <laughs> I mean, they're not very private, are they? And they are unisex, apparently. Um, so, yeah, and I've also just plopped a, term, uh, a toilet right in the middle of the terminal. <laughs> there we go. Right, where are we? Restrooms. Restrooms. There we go. That's going to be our toilet or restroom, as the Americans would say. Um, yeah, it's shaping up to be quite a nice little airport. Right, let's put some benches in. And then we are almost good to start accepting passengers. So I'm going to have a bench there. I'm going to have a couple of benches back to back here. There we go, lots of seating. And one other thing that we need is a gate check-in agent. There we go. So now we're going to see how this airport is 
going to turn out. So I'm going to start um, accepting some passengers. Ah, look, so this is not a secure area, and they're right because we haven't finished our fence. I knew there was something else. So let's quickly grab that and fence off the boundary. So get hard at work with that. Now, one of the other things we do need to do as well is just uh, assign like the check-in desk to um, to the gate, which is fine. It's going to do that. It's going to be a bit laggy here with the rain as well. And doing a splendid job. Now that should be secure. Requires taxiway connected at both ends. Not really. Problem. It's a bit annoying because that's going to cost a fortune. But we can do that. Just about. Oh, oh gosh, we really do not have much money left now. <laughs> right, thank goodness we start with a million. So we are ready to start accepting some flight schedules. So to accept flight schedules, you just go up here to the airline interest and we can see that we've got four different airlines um, that are willing to, to send flights our way um, so you've got aero time here first of all, all these planes are different sizes so we've got a Boeing 707 which takes 180 passengers there's a couple of those now these you will see are nights, night flights so we can't actually accept them at the moment because our runway doesn't have lights on we've not upgraded our runway uh, to have lights um, but we will get round to that. We've got a 767 on this one, so that's 250 passengers, and we can accept that for the afternoon. Uh, we've got this one as another afternoon flight, small plane, just 19 passengers on there. Um, you've got this one, which again, they've got a morning one, which is a 707, or oh, sorry, 777. Uh, that's 400 passengers. Wowza. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to. So can't accept those ones. I think I'm going to accept the afternoon 767 to start off with. And we're going to accept the afternoon Beechcraft small plane. I mean, if we go down to schedules, we can change the timings of those. So we can give them a little bit of a gap between them. There we go. So that's going to help us. So we've got the big plane first of all. Actually, let's, let's change those around. Let's go for the smaller plane and then the bigger plane afterwards. Um, okay, so we've done that. Now we need some staff, that's what we need. So we need a couple of staff to man these uh, checking desks and also to man the gate. So we've got some of those. We need some security. We've got four security guys. Uh, maybe we need four. Oh, we need a lot because we've got a lot of bag gates. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, queues. So, this is one of the things that we can do. So, we can build a queue system on this, which is quite good. They fixed this a lot because at the start it was like horrendous. Um, so, we're going to get our guest queuing up here. Now, I'm going to go in sort of a little bit of a zigzag formation here. There we go. We'll do something similar this side as well. Okay, so whenever you do a queue, what you want to do is you want to sign um, these desks to that queue. Uh, otherwise, the queues are pretty much useless. So uh, we've got one desk there, and then over here, so you want to assign this one to the other queue. Like so. So now we've got two queues and two checking desks. Now, what I want to do here actually is something a little bit different. This is something I've seen about, you know, on sort of forums and stuff that people are saying is working quite well, and that's having just one queue but assigning it across the two different checking desks. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a try over here. So we're going to have them queuing a bit crazily, but that's fine. Let's try and, you know, get as many people as we can in this queue. There we go. And then uh, we are going to then assign 
this one to that queue and then this checking desk also to that queue so actually if you're stood in this queue you can go to either checking desk and hopefully that will um, yeah balance our queue system out a little bit um, the ID desks as well they also need queues so let's just do that now I can just make that one long queue presumably and then last but not least is this gate here it also needs a queue so if we can assign the queue That one is a bit back to front, but I think I think they'll be okay with that. There we go. So our airport is all set up. We are running out of money very quickly. Look, we're already in negative negative balance. Um, but we've got our airport quite set up quite nicely, so I think it should be uh, should be good to go. Let's clear the delivery zone up here purely sort of drop off and pick up so near the airport building and then deliveries are down here instead now okay so we should be getting our first flights coming in soon here we go so we've got some passengers that are coming in it's working well so far look they're filling up from both sides excellent stuff Using a long clip. Why are these guys not checking in? Oh dear. Okay, that's a bit random. Oh, here's our first plane. There we go. Is this small plane, first of all, just 19 passengers? A little bit random though. Some people were checking in up here, and then coming all the way down here, and then going through security. So that's not quite how we intended that. Actually, <laughs> using this one and using this one. As long as they use both of them eventually, then maybe it'll work out. Um, there we go, that one's off. And then any second now, we should be having passengers arriving for a big flight. Here we go, a few passengers coming in. I have got this sped up, by the way, at five times the speed at the minute. Wow, look at all those passengers. Riding thick and fast now. Well, it seems to be working quite well. We've got passengers going in from both sides of the airport. When this big plane lands, we'll see if people are exiting through our baggage claim or if they're just exiting out these sides here. Here it is. Okay. So, yes, they're going straight down the middle. So, layout wise, I think it's going very, very well. Now, we may run out of money very quickly. Um, you know that could possibly happen but layout wise I think it's uh, been a success so far admittedly we've only had two flights in but you know I do think it has been uh, a bit of a success now I need to schedule in another flight before we go bankrupt really um, there was a big flight wasn't there that was available Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, four hundred passengers for the morning. Okay, let's schedule that. This is going to be sort of the biggest plane that we're going to really deal with. So this is going to, you know, see how our airport is faring, um, and should hopefully, like I say, hopefully bring us in a little bit of money. Now, um, one of the things that has been quite difficult with this game. Uh, that I've found so far really is just making money actually it does seem to be quite a difficult task I think um, you know every airport that I've done sooner or later has lost money and it's just you know it's not been quite right um, now you know I do think it is something that's maybe a little bit wrong with the mechanics of the game so far and maybe that's something that they'll, they'll look to improve in, in future updates um, but it is quite enjoyable you still get you know a bit of enjoyability from building an airport that that runs smoothly um, you know despite the the bugs of the game itself um, you know you, you can get some in, enjoyability now it is early access it's literally just come out as well um, you know really is early access but yeah I definitely think it's got potential and you know would I advise you to buy this game at some point definitely <laughs> you know I think it's um, 
you know, up to you if you can live with the bugs at this stage. But I think ultimately, I think it's a game with fantastic potential. Um, if you do want to support the the developers, then you know I'd encourage buying it early, being part of the the journey of this game. And you know, it's quite a good community that this game's getting built already. Uh, and already you can see, you know, developers are really taking on board uh, people's input and suggestions, and they've not really. Um, added anything to the game uh, other than fixing bugs but um, again you know you can see that they've really sort of been interested in the game which has been uh, has been fantastic and uh, I definitely think it's got potential I think it's got potential to be a, a really good game uh, like Prison Architect if you played that in the early days it had lots of bugs as well but it turned out to be uh, a game that got a big really big following and um, a lot of enjoyability from it as well um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Um, you know, maybe we'll rejoin um, in a future episode if you if you have enjoyed this. Do let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more um, of this game. But I'd like to give you, you know, just a little bit of a of an early access or a, an early viewing, if you like, of this game if you've not seen it before. Uh, maybe you're, open your eyes to to it and you know see if it's worth uh, if it's something that you'd be interested in, something that you'd like to. Uh, to play yourself uh, but that is going to be it for for this episode um, but do le let me know in the comment section below if you've enjoyed it uh, do like this video as well um, if you if you've enjoyed it and of course if you've not subscribed to the channel um, do sus hit the subscribe button um, should be a, a circular button that's coming up on your screen at any point now uh, and that just helps support the channel uh, and obviously gives you content similar to this that you're going to be able to enjoy um, for a lot of time to come hopefully so thank you very much for watching everyone and take care